Throwing now. Ryan on first down. This to Pitts, and he's got him. Touchdown, Atlanta. Kyle Pitts. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Falcons will extend their lead. Two able to connect on the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to 0. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Very short kick taken right at the 20. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Running on first down is Jones, but he's not going to get much. Maybe a couple. And it's second down. Second down and eight. Two minutes to play. First half, it's 14 to nothing. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And they move this all the way down to the nine. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Leonard Fournette, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs have made this a one-score game. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. They're following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Finding some room at midfield. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Ryan. And that'll be knocked away. 
It's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Throwing again on second and ten. Ryan, he's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. So first and ten now from the 30. And the Falcons push further out in front. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now 21-7. to seven. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal four and take it. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they've got less than 30 seconds to go here, so not a lot of time to work with. And he takes this thing way down into Atlanta territory. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. It's Eric Harris who picks it. And the Falcons are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So this a two-possession ball game as we get back underway, set for the third quarter. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. offense set to begin their next possession and they're still very much in this game although they do trail what's the game plan Charles for the second half it might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more but I'd establish the running game they kind of went away from it in the first half I think they get back in balance it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air now a man open down the middle of the field and he takes this thing way down into Atlanta territory so how about this for field position after the big play inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Godwin's got it touchdown Tampa Bay Chris Godwin there to make the grab and the Bucs come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Extra point put through by Suckup, and that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team you've got to be careful right here and he's brought down after a very nice game Get 
from midfield now. Here's Ryan. He's going to have the hook up to Gage. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. On first down, it's Patterson. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Patterson on the carry. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Cordero Patterson. A 15-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. Crew able to connect on the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Give him nine there on the first down completion. To throw again on second down. Brady. That is caught. It's Chris Godwin. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 25-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And it's a slant to Gronkowski. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Richie Grant. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And the Falcons are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team. Breaks the tackle, now an alley. And all the way down to the 29. It's a big play there for Atlanta. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. On first down, Ryan looking for the end zone. And that will be taken in by Ridley for a Falcon touchdown. Matt Ryan connecting on his fourth touchdown pass of the ball game. And the